Alrighty, I wanted to catch these guys before they dip below the house, but over here in the western sky we have a 9.7% waxing crescent moon and Venus over to the left of it. It's August 13th, 2018, and now it's 8.54 p.m. And we're facing the west. Okay, it's so nice to see that moon again. It's been ages. And from this angle, I'm not going to have but a few seconds to be able to get it. As it's already starting to dip below the house there. I'll try to get both of them in the same shot. I'll go walk over to the other side of the house and see if I can peek through over there. Nope, it's only Venus <laughs> that can be seen from over there. Just got that little opening, but at least we got to see it for a few seconds. But while we're here, yeah, I have both cameras running, but that night con's not gonna get much for us because the moon's just gonna dip below the house and, uh, <clears throat> I can't even see it by eye, so the, uh, <laughs> the cameras are up above my head. The lenses are probably about uh, six and a half feet high, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm terrible at height and weight and all that good stuff. But we'll get a moon setting <laughs> over my garage. So I have a lunar eclipse, a garage lunar eclipse. <laughs> but as that's going down, um, I should have made the video. Doggone, it popped up for me from this angle. All right, I moved over to the left a bit. Must have been a dip in the yard, but we have a bit of Earth shine, what I call the cap on the moon. Well, that's really weird. It looks like <laughs> the bottom edge of the uh, moon has gone below the garage, but it's still showing on this side. And it's got to be a, some type of illusion, I guess. Except I'm not sure how because I'm I'm leaning down looking at the angle the lens is at and it's only the top portion. Yeah, okay, like that now. That was weird. <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say earlier was uh, I should have made a video during the day to let folks know about this. But there's going to be some good moon planet viewing for the next week. Now tonight, uh, the moon was 9.7% uh, lit and Venus was to the 8 o'clock position of the moon. Now tomorrow night, this is all about, uh, well, from my location at sunset. So once the sun goes down, you'll be able to see the planets and uh, the moon. But anyway, tomorrow night, it's going to be right above Venus. So we have a 17.5% crescent above Venus. And then Wednesday the 15th, we'll have a 27% moon and it'll be above Spica. Then Thursday the 16th, we'll have a 36.8% moon. It's going to be, uh, Jupiter's going to be to the 7 o'clock position of the moon. And then on Friday, the 17th, we'll have a 47% moon, um, and Jupiter's going to be at the 5 o'clock position. Then we have to wait till Monday, the 20th, and that's when it'll be uh, over by Saturn. We'll have a 75.5% uh, lit moon. It'll be, Saturn will be about the 7 o'clock position of the moon, so down to the left. 
and we have Tuesday the 21st, we have a 83.3% moon. And Saturn will be about the 9 o'clock position, so it'll be on the left side of the moon. We go over to Wednesday the 22nd, an 89.7% moon. Um, Pluto's going to be about the 2 or 3 o'clock position, and Mars will be down at the 7 o'clock. I've never been able to capture Pluto. Uranus and Neptune. I, I might have caught a picture of Neptune once, and that was about it. And anyway, Thursday the 23rd, we'll have a 94.7% moon, and it'll be over by Mars. Uh, Mars will be about the 5 o'clock position of it. I'll put those pictures up. And okay, um, since we're here, we'll take a look at Jupiter with the stars of Libra down below. Well, right off the bat, I see a uh, about the five o'clock position. <clears throat> it's probably another star of Libra. It's funny how they stay in such lockstep um, with Jupiter. That's why when I saw them that one night and the way they were moving along with uh, Jupiter's moons, that I thought they were just in, you know, more the rocks that are flying around out there, but... Okay, so there's that guy down below, about the 5 o'clock position, and there's another one over about the 2 o'clock. That's shining forth. And see how they're moving so well with the uh, planet's moons. But the app says they're stars of Libra, so... So for now, we'll go with that. <laughs> okay, so I did take the 2X converter off. I wish I had it on at the moment, but I have to take it off to uh, snap photos. And by the view I'm getting, it kind of looks like Jupiter's coming in better tonight than it did, has been recently. But the hands are tilted as it's going down. All right, that's a good look there. I am a bit surprised to uh, have Jupiter come in so well tonight. With the weather systems and clouds, it would just blew in out of nowhere. We got startled this afternoon several times. I'm sitting in the house and looking out the western window. I see blue skies, the sun. The sun's just beating down through the windows and uh, all of a sudden I hear this loud rumble and I thought the house was shaking. It scared me and the kitties and <laughs> I ran outside real quick to find out what was going on and I guess there was a storm system on the other side of the house. It was just so strange. We didn't get any weather from it, but somebody must have. All right, so that's enough of that guy. And over here in the south, southeast, it's about to hit the south. Is good old Saturn. And it looks like Titan might be over to the 10 or 11 o'clock. Though down at the 7 o'clock position, there's a light that's moving away from it. And there's a whole bunch of, uh, now it must be part of the star system down there. They seem to be staying stationary unlike what's going on with the uh, ones in Libra and okay all right so there's our Saturn just going it's uh on its sideways upward journey it's coming in pretty good too and as usual I'm shit out of luck with Mars it likes playing dodge him down in those trees boy it takes a low uh low approach as it comes up. 
Anyway, so let me go take some pictures real quick and maybe I'll go and put that teleconverter on. Okay, and there we go. We ran in the house and got the uh, teleconverter. It's now 9.41 p.m. So we can watch uh, Saturn scoot along there. It's still rising a bit, but not quite scooting sideways. Let's hurry up and go over to Jupiter. Okay, and here we go. We got pairs on each side of uh, the planet tonight. I think. Yeah, there's the, the last one. All right. All right, and a short clip of the bands of Jupiter. Yeah, it's still fuzzy. Darn it. All right, that's going to do it. We'll insert this portion in and try not to make this too long. <laughs> insert some pictures here, I hope. <laughs> All righty. I hope you have a great Tuesday coming up, or Wednesday, whatever day it is for you guys. Good night now.